Hey everyone, we're back. Oh, lordy, lordy. Like, Skype uh, being a poop lord, what a surprise! All right. All right, all right. Also Dave shy. being afraid to cuss. I was trying to um, stealthily grab his um, handgun. Stealthily. Oh. Stealthily, <laughs> stealthily. <grab>. Stealthily. Stealthily. <laughs> well, stealthily. when you're wearing a sequence mm. vest, that is mm. almost impossible, good sir. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Uh, like, no, no, the sequence distract him. The light, light, so I will light, say light. that your skill applies. However, you're at minus one to difficulty, so you need a four or higher to uh, succeed at the roll natively, uh, or you can you can also spend willpower to. I'll spend one willpower. All right, so now it's a three or higher again. Jacob, the willpower spending guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, he yep. wants to succeed at his tasks, which is fine because it works. All right. How much do I have left? Now oh, three. You've got three left. Yes. All right. I mean, I mean, I still have the second most. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Other than me, I've got the perfect ten. What the? Is that for your roll? Uh, yes, I already said that. There really needs to be timestamps on on uh, uh. I mean, there's just two fours. Roll twenty. Um, uh, is well, is I everyone's can... webcams like flickering for everyone else? No, no, no one's webcam is flickering no. for me. It flickers every once in a while for me, and I don't know why. It's not flickering for me yet. There's a lot on mine, but... That's what I mean, like, it basically it flickers on and off, and then it will show, like, the loading symbol for, like, a split second behind. And it's everyone's yeah, webcam. All right, all right, all right. It yeah, is. it's from... I can see it on your stream, but it's not happening to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... Well, let's keep going. Yeah. Are you, are you the host, Dave? I wasn't before, but I am now, but it was doing it previously as well, so... Well, huh. <laughs> well... Uh, I'm glad that we can all bask in the wonderful features of Skype. Yeah, yep. it's so nice. Anyway, continue. <laughs> right, so, Jacob, you <laughs> succeed at uh, stealthily grabbing his handgun. You now have the police officer's handgun. Uh, of course, he uh, immediately tries to uh, relieve that of you physically. But he uh, got it stealthily. Yeah. Well, stealthily. <laughs> you, oh, stealthily. You, stealthily. you steal the handgun without him even noticing. However, he is still saying... Please uh, put your hands behind your back, sir, up against the vehicle. I, I'm going to stick Are the you out? Hang on a minute. Were you outside of the vehicle when you did this, or were you inside the vehicle when you did this? No, he stepped out. Okay, oh, yeah. all right. Because I just imagine he just like, hey, what's going on, officer? <laughs> 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 stealth roll. <laughs> stealth roll. Oh, my God, is that a volcano? I'm, half, I'm a mile away now. Yeah. <laughs> You're high enough stealth rating. Even a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man can steal uh, uh, something stealthily. Mm. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm what are you gonna do? Into his, I'm gonna stick the gun to his gun and say, "Now, now, officer, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way." He goes for his gun, which isn't there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> are you a wizard? Now, I suggest you choose the easy way. That way, we can just get this over with. Well, we'll do what I want to do, and we'll go our separate ways. Oh, uh, oh. From behind you, you hear, Freeze! Drop the gun! Because um, as I said earlier, uh, there were two police officers in that vehicle. Uh, and you had completely neglected the other one. He was behind you the entire time. Fuck. Uh, and uh, you now have another police officer pointing a gun at you while you're pointing a, police op a gun at a police officer. Shoot him. All right. <laughs> um... I'm basically. I'm gonna put myself, put myself between. Um, I'm gonna put the officer between the, uh, the officer that I have the gun at between me and the other one. All right, you take this guy hostage. Um, you're of comparable physical size, so it gets <laughs> possible. Um, All right. Plus, he's wearing a sequence vest, which makes it even more more possible. Yeah. <laughs> Sequence vest is plus one to all tasks. Yeah. Um. <laughs> plus one of everything. Sequence vest. All right. All right, you're now in a, I guess, a shootout, essentially. What do you do now? Drop right. the gun! I'm basically... I'm, based, I'm going to shout at him. I'm not going to hurt... I won't hurt him if you... If you uh, give me a second to word this. God, I'm, sick, I'm kind of sick right now, so this is... <laughs> Bang! You're dead. No. So talking hurts. <laughs> yeah. You, weren't you sick the last time we played, like, two weeks ago? Are Was you it? ever... Are you ever healthy? I'm usually healthy, but right now I've been feeling like shit because midterms and I haven't been sleeping, so. It's a tapeworm. It's got to be. Oh, my God. Uh, West Nile virus. Yeah. It's been going around I'm basically, here. I'm going, so I'm going to shout to the other, no, to the other officer. The plague. 
if you don't fire, I won't fire. I just need a, I just need a couple minutes and I, and I'll surrender myself. Oh. Drop the gun. We're not going to negotiate. Just let me jack off behind this police officer real quick. I just need to get three points real quick. <laughs> Try shooting. You're more likely to hit your buddy. Now please, we can do this. We can do this can more peacefully. You make a persuasion roll for that. God, what are you trying what? to do to this? Not the nose joke. <laughs> I'm just. I mean, I'm making obvious that um, I'm I'm making obvious that I'm using the guy as um as a meat yeah, shield, basically. Are. Yeah, obviously. Like, and kind of sticking my. I mean, you're gonna have to make like an impossible persuade check to get the other guy to drop his gun. I'm not um, trying to make him drop his gun. I'm just. I'm no, not, he's I'm not, Dave. <laughs> and besides, I've not counted any of the times. I know. I know thing. you haven't. I know you yeah, haven't. Yeah, you have to. You have to. You know, that's re reciprocated. Okay. Um. So anyway, yes, Jacob, what are you trying to do now? Say what you're right. trying to convince him of. I'm going to start backing up with the off officer I have slowly. Uh huh. Did you say jacking up? off the officer slowly? Oh, He's in backing up. <laughs> okay, all right, just checking. Don't move. <laughs> don't, don't move. move. <laughs> don't move. All right, don't move. <laughs> no all one's right. gonna anyway, get hurt. He backs yeah. off slowly. Jesus God, this this group is gonna be hard to keep wrangled. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know what he's trying to do, man. It's just like, uh, I don't you think back I'm off gonna... slowly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, jack off towards slowly. The, towards the yeah, the uh, gas station. <laughs> All right, you're you're slowly backing towards the gas station. All right. I'm going to basically push open the um the door push open the door with my um back once I get there. Uh huh. The door opens. It's a, it's bling, a pool. Bling, bling. That's All the sound right. of the gas station door opening. All right. Is there a clerk? Yeah, but he, I mean, you have to kind of like crane your neck and uh, back and forth, back and forth to the police control. officer that you're, uh, you're, you're I'm going back up. a little bit more so I can see them both. All right, you back up. You're, you're well into the uh, grocery store or the gas station now. And I, so I can see them, so I can see the clerk, right? Yeah. All right. So I, I tell him. Now, what I need you to do, I need you to open the register. Just, just open it up and just give me, give me the money in it. I won't. You're not gonna get away with this, says one of the police officers. It's ridiculous. You can't, you can't rob a convenience store and take a police officer hostage. Now, now, if everybody's just calm, we can resolve. We'll resolve this peacefully, and we'll be done. Now, can you please open the register and give, and just give me the money in there? Uh, I have to make a secret GM roll. I like how you said, please. <laughs> guys, but, guys, it's not a secret. He rolled a three. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's not a secret. Um, hold on a second. I forget how to do a secret hidden GM roll. Uh, you whisper yourself with the roll, man. Yeah, it's slash uh, it's, GM. It's, I think yes. it's slash GM roll. G it's slash GR, I think. I it's a oh, slash GR. There you go. G well, let's try that. All right. Um, okay, now that I've made the secret roll, also, that didn't work, Dave, uh, but GR did. Um, I mean, I got your message, but I didn't get my own roll. Um, oh, you didn't? Yeah. Um, so hmm. I, what I need you to do now, Jacob, is choose high or low. Oh, boy. It's low. Yeah, never shoot at the I'm, hey man, you're for, already high. I'm gonna roll one D two to decide which. <laughs> He's probably rolling a one D two to decide what your hole is gonna be. Alright, which one's high? I guess I'm going low. Alright, it was high. So <laughs> um the the cash register guy pulls out a shotgun and points it at you. So I'm not ah. opening anything. You dropped a police officer. Are we in Texas or We're in America. America. So Alabama. We're in America. Iowa. We're in America. I thought we were America. in America. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. <laughs> oh no, now I this get it. So we're in North whoa, Carolina. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you fire that, you'll hurt you'll hurt both me and the officer. Now, fuck please. your fuck, you dropped the police officer, you dropped the gun and get out of my fucking store. Just give me And a then now the police officer's like, Sir, do not point the shotgun at my partner. 
Now, please, just calm down. Give please me a few off. dollars. Matt I will turn myself in. He's gone at you in the convenience store. Like, sir, it's not necessary for a civilian to get involved. Please drop the gun. And, and also, criminal, please drop the gun. Also, if you got any donuts, you know, just leave them by the door. No. <laughs> And please, please. Stereotype. Yeah. And all that brash um, here, I just need a few dollars, and then I'll be, and I'll be done. <laughs> Give me like a uh, four dollars fifty, and then I'll be go. I'll just leave. I, I need about three fifty. I need about three fifty. Yeah, I just need three fifty. Minus one, your next roll for obvious and cliche joke. Oh. <laughs> no, hey, hey, hey. Not long. your roll, his roll. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, Kyla's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hemlock's hey, next. All of my jokes are cliche and obvious. All right, yeah, so I, I just need make such an overuse. I don't care how much. I just need a few dollars, and then I'll be, I'll be, I'll be done. I ain't giving you nothing. As he cocks the shotgun again. <clears throat> and that's just that's just wasting money. Yeah. You just wasted a. Oh come on! Man. Don't worry. Just give me the money, and then you can shoot me. <laughs> Did he? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me get these points real quick. Yeah. You know, um, Sir, did you see a shell come him out of the money. shotgun? Do not shoot him. Put the gun down. Uh, the police officer is still freaking out. Um, <laughs> He's just like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And then the other guy's like, I'm entitled to defend my property for this, uh, this is America. I have Second Amendment. Please, again, government can't take my guns. Um, We're not taking your guns. We're not taking your guns. You can keep the gun. In fact, it's a very nice gun. In my You're not life. taking my money either, you son of a bitch! And uh, the, obviously, everyone keeps pointing back and forth the guns. Um, <laughs> this is the most ridiculous talking. thing I've ever seen, by the way. It, talking is not really getting anywhere. Um, <sighs> well, obviously, I, I can't. I don't have. I don't have shoot. Figure something out, Jacob. You have certain skills. Uh, use them, or or think of something else. Do something. Uh, fuck! 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 Uh, no, you can't do that. That's unfortunately not. no, I cannot. No. Uh, God. Is there a coin machine? I know what you're trying to do, man, and there's a much better solution to this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm winning it. I'm winning the shot. I don't care how retarded this. So is. there's a. Are you asking if there's like an ATM? ATM coin machine, whatever. There's coin. an ATM. Anything? Hmm. I'm not sure. Bang, bang. Do you have a pit that lock? He tries to kiss the ATM. <laughs> he tries to persuade the ATM <laughs> to giving him money. Please, ATM. Uh, <laughs> you can shoot me afterwards. I just need the money. <laughs> ATM, ATM. I, it, it wasn't originally supposed to be like this, but now I'm just so, somehow obsessed with just eating a couple dollars, and then I'm like, oh, I don't care. Just do, like, a dollar. Give me a dollar. Come on. Yeah. Come on, give me a dollar, then I'll just, I'll pay for a donut you with it. You're not getting into my money, you son of a bitch! You drop a police officer, you drop a gun, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out! Sir, do not fire on the suspect, do not fire on my partner, put the gun down! I'm just waiting for the officer to just start firing at the, at the other guy. Well, he's not doing it yet. This I'm sucks. going to shuffle slowly towards the ATM. <laughs> I'll keep making sure, <laughs> making sure I have the... I have the officer between me and the other two. As you shuffle slowly towards the ATM, both the cashier and the police officer shuffle with you to maintain <laughs> this triangular uh, <laughs> state of happening. Um, wow, whenever that person's gonna be fucked. Uh, yeah. I mean, you don't know. There's all sorts of things. Thanks. I'll just uh, put in my, my. Maybe everyone's gonna die. I'm not. Gonna... All right, so presumably there's a way to open the a presumably there's a way to like, open the ATM. Have yeah, you ever opened an it. ATM before? No, 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 open, open. Like, whatever. Yeah, there are I'm ways to open to, ATMs. Well, obviously I'm going to be saying this to him. I'm going to try, try and, um, basically open it, um, obviously without the other two realizing what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, let me get this straight. Uh, in one hand you have a gun, in the other hand you're holding a police fuck. officer hostage. You are going to use which appendage to open this ATM? Oh, his third Fuck. hand, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me think this yeah. through. Okay. Didn't okay. John was a mutant? Just give me a second. <laughs> All right. I got it. Oh. 
It is minus six to the roll to try and unlock, pick an ATM with your dick, just to be clear. <laughs> I wasn't saying that. I wasn't I think saying, that. saying that. that. that ten- hey, since that would technically be possible for me if I spend the rest of my willpower. If you spend all the rest of your willpower and get a six, you would be capable of lock picking an ATM with your dick. <laughs> I like those odds. <laughs> I do have seven willpower. <laughs> you so can't tempted. spend the willpower for him, though. I'm so <laughs> tempted, but I know that's just brain dead. But if I did it, if I did it, I think we would all die. Yeah, Drake, I would, like, totally oh. do it. I mean, it's not your willpower, so of course everyone's going to be like, yeah, Jacob, try. Do it, man. Yeah, Jacob, try. Do it. Oh, John hears, that. like, three whispers. He hears, do it, you, you <laughs> young man, you. <laughs> hey, hey. Johnny, listen, you really should do it. Johnny, I think it'd be a real, real Jonathan, thing for you to do. Please. Look, Johnny, I, I, I'm not trying to, to do anything wrong for you. I'm, I'm here to help you. Jonathan, listen to the man. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Are we seriously Look, doing there's, this? Uh, you know, one out of six chance. That's a roll of the die. Come on. That's a one in six. That is nothing. You can make that with your eyes. I like those odds, you know. I like them too. No, no I'm already, I'm already in deep shit. I might as well just go all in. Uh, yeah, yeah, in for a penny, in for a pound. <sighs> I swear to God, if this works. Die party, everyone. He says. Um, <laughs> this works. I mean, party. you can make like yeah, it takes all of your willpower. No, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I lose control. Uh, okay, so basically what happens is in the middle of this um, three-way standoff, uh, you sort of let go of the gun to start unzipping your pants. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and then as you do that, uh, you, you pass into unconsciousness. Um, I hope uh, I want to test for control. control. All right, and, well. Okay, so I'm out for now. I'm out then until we see. Actually, you pass in unconsciousness, so you actually get one willpower. Everyone gets one. Add one oh. to that, would you please, Mr. Rick? Add one to that? Yeah. You want to spend your maximum willpower to play. Okay. Um, who else? Um, I, had a, I had a one, right? Yeah. I had Wait, one. what are you asking? No, I had one willpower, right? Uh, yeah, you now have two. This was a terrible idea. All right, Caleb. Um, <laughs> oh, Caleb and Dave, I need you to roll against each other. Uh, 1d10. Or 1d20, not tw- 10 suddenly for some reason. <laughs> Wait, Dave. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! I'm so disappointed. I know! Edward, I would be great in this situation. He's got his dick in his hand already. <laughs> um, uh, you know, not so much because, Caleb, you awaken... Um, Pissed in the one hand, pointed at your dick for some reason. You're like, what? <laughs> no, you awaken in the. Uh, uh, you're being. Uh, uh, you're in the back of a police car. Ooh, and your shit. hand are cuffed behind your back. Oh, yeah, we passed out. Yeah. Your pants are around your ankles. Um, <laughs> your, your ridiculous riding uh, pants uh, from the Ringmaster outfit are around your ankles. Um, and uh, the police, you're in the back seat of a police car. Uh, the police are not paying any attention to you because they uh, assume that you are unconscious still. Uh, but there, there's one in the front and in the passenger seat of the front as well. Hmm. <laughs> Go faster, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Um, is that guy? Is that guy speeding right there? You should go catch him. <laughs> I assume there's a the, like grate between the front seat and the back seat. Yeah. Okay. Um, doors are locked. Windows are up and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's no. As far as you can tell, no one has um, made an egregious mistake. Okay. Well, first of all, I kick the pants all the way off because nice. That's an issue. <laughs> Tell us, right, what so is John pants wearing are underneath All the, the way pants. off. Um, so now there's a pair of riding crop pants <laughs> on the ground. They haven't heard you. Uh, they're mostly on the radio talking about some uh, nut uh, 
some guy snapped and the, the you know they're bringing him in. You know, you, you uh, can't really make it out. Look around. Do I notice? Like, can I tell where I am? Like in the city or anything like that? Is yeah, you're heading into downtown um, because they're taking you downtown uh, mm -hmm. uh, to the Hooskow, probably. <laughs> probably. Who, who, yeah, so you're, you're passing through the city. You're in, you're heading into downtown somewhat. Um, you're in the backseat of a police car. They're they're paying no attention to you. You've got pants on the floor. Um, I'm going to lie down and pretend to be unconscious and wait. All right. All right. You lie down and pretend to be unconscious with your pants all the way off. Um, <laughs> you like lit recline. You like. <sighs> You get to uh, the, the car stops after not very long, and uh, do the door opens, uh, the back door, and ah uh, oh, Jesus! Somehow he got the pants the rest of the way off. What the fuck is going on here? Um, and uh, you feel you, you feel strong, strong, manly, masculine hands uh, grab your shoulders and start to p pull you out of the back seat. Uh, if only okay. it was a box. Um, I pretend to stay unconscious until I'm out of the car completely. You're out of the car completely. Um, they seem to be, uh, like, carrying you between themselves. Okay. I'm going to try to break free. Like, uh, kick the one holding my legs in the face. Uh-huh. And then try to break free with the other one's grip. Well, actually, the they think or, you're totally unconscious. So the second you go to kick the guy, um, they sort of, with a start, let go, and you find yourself on your ass in the street. Um, both police officers are caught unaware. I run into the nearest alley. You just start running. <laughs> yep. All right, you run. Um, <laughs> he's pretty fast shouts, too. <laughs> he's like Sonic Speed. He's like he's getting away. Oh shit! Fuck. Um, <laughs> Gotcha. You were outside of a police, like you round a corner right away. Um, you hear uh, police footprints uh, uh, behind you, fast running. Uh, you, hear, uh, you hear another. Uh, you hear the siren of the car turn back on as as the other guy gets in the car and tries to follow that way. Okay, I duck into the first alley. I see. You duck into the first alley. You see, uh, it's now a dead end alley. It leads to the next street over. The police are still tailing you. Um, are there any walls or fences or anything I can jump or? No, it just goes to the next street, and there's buildings on either side. Um, is there anything around, like any buildings I get into or anything like that? Uh, give me a perception check. Failure does not cause you to lose unconscious. Yes. Um, the 1d6, same as always. I'm going to spend two willpower. Oh, wow, okay. Or not, okay. All right. Yeah, the second you round in the alleyway, there's an open window that's just about at at uh, at waist level. Um, I jump into the window. All right. I'm going to let your success from the previous roll carry over into this because uh, okay. it was a it, it, an eight out of like a four necessary. So, not only do you dive through this window, but as you do, your body uh, knocks out the latch holding the window open, so the window closes behind you, uh, and. Damn. The, the police um, run through the alley, like, and you hear, "Oh, the fuck did he get away? Oh shit, he's really far fast!" <laughs> and then they, you know, they disappear into the night. After okay, chasing after. Also, Storner's it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of building am I in? Is it uh, a house. You're in a dark uh, room. You can't really tell. Uh, so you can I see anything like the closet, for it, instance? You can see that the t the the floor is tiled, um, in the light from the window. Not much else is illuminated. Uh, okay. You're you're you appear to be. Uh, I mean, you're you're still pantsless. You're still handcuffed behind your back, by the way, um, mm -hmm. and uh, still wearing a sequence vest. Uh, pretty much a dead giveaway for who you are, by the way, being chased by the police. Um, yeah. And um. Uh, you're in a dark tiled floored room. Okay. I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything uh, important, like anything I can use. Well, it's too dark to find anything in particular uh, in the room. Do you perhaps look for a light switch? 
Yeah, I'll look for a light source. Uh, feeling the walls with your shoulder, um, you eventually feel what feels very much like a light switch that you can definitely turn on with your with your shoulder, um, okay. with enough effort because it's you know it's one of those flicky ones. It's not like a button or anything. Um, and uh, the lights go up. You are in a uh, laundromat. Um, it seems like a public laundromat of some kind. Uh, after hours, clearly it's still night. Um, and uh, there's, you know, there's it's a laundromat. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to find something to either break these cups or pick them or whatever. There's anything that would help I me do that. You can't break these cups. You can't break these cups. I can break these cups. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, I don't, you know, that's that's vague, and I don't think just anything that would help me break them, basically. I, I don't understand. I don't think there's any such thing. Um, uh, I throw a what washing machine for? at them. Yeah, <laughs> then, uh, he picks up a washing little, machine. I need a little something. more specificity. If there's a, if you have something in mind, you could tell me what you are looking for. But I am, I am unaware. I am unaware of anything that breaks hand. Sharp cuts. like a saw or anything. Not like that. a laundromat. You don't find anything like a saw. No tools or anything. Uh, you don't find any, uh, you find a wrench, but, uh, you know, it wouldn't really, uh, as far as you can figure, or unless you, you have an idea for how to use the wrench to break cuffs. It's not on my, it's not the first thing on my list for cuff breaking. Um, I mean, there's, yeah. there's laundry machines, there's ironing boards, there's, uh, there's, uh, you know, there's a dry cleaning thing, uh, it's coin operated washing machines, uh, people's clothes, um, yeah, uh, nothing immediately springs to mind. Um, okay. Um, can I try to get the my hands in front of me instead of behind me? Yeah, to... that's fine. You okay. can do that without much effort. Uh, okay. It um, just takes a little. You know, you got to ring it around the butt, and you know, you just roll around on the floor for a little while. You get it. You get it done. Your hands are in okay. front of you. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find any. Uh... Uniforms like a uh, anything that looks like not like plain clothes, but more professional, I guess. Anything professional? Yeah, anything professional. Any profession. Just yeah, you can you can definitely find plenty of professional looking clothes uh, all over the place, all sorts of types. What do you what do you what do you want? I just find a nice pair of pants. And then some kind of jacket or coat uh, yeah, to cover yeah. up. I yeah, all that. Up. Do you do you okay. ditch the sequin vest, or are you just putting yeah, a jacket I'll, on it? I'll ditch the sequin vest. And get How it off would you do can. that? Um, see if I can find any scissors or something sharp, if possible, and I'll cut it off. Yeah, you can totally do. It. I mean, it's it's just clothing. You could practically yeah. rip it off. I mean, yeah. uh, I don't know how strong John is. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's a sequence vest, man. Those things are it's, hella strong. It's fat. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, I'm not aware of sequence vests being particularly durable. Um, I mean, it's got to survive a lion strike, right? So. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, if it gets to that point, the ringmaster's already failed. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so you can drape the coat over your shoulders um, mm -hmm. after having ripped off the sequence vest. Um, and you can easily put on the pants. Um, so now you're 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 shirtless except for a coat draped around you, uh, and pants that you're wearing, which are nice, uh, okay. nice businessy pants. Am I able to zip up the coat with my arms inside? Yeah, you can do that. You can manage that. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the light off the line from it. Um, okay. Can I find a, a hat or anything. Yeah, I mean, it takes you a little while to figure out a way to get it on your head with your hands hidden mm -hmm. in your coat. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can put a hat on. Okay. Um, I'll turn the light off the laundromat and head out. Uh, is there a back door? <laughs> yeah, there's a back door. Okay, I'll head up the back. And you, then you head up the back. Um, head in the opposite direction. You unlock it from this side, and then, and then you, it's pretty easy. You just leave. Yeah. I'll head in the opposite direction of the police station. All right, you head in the opposite direction of the police station. You're now out on the town... You no longer look like John, and your handcuffs are obvious or unob. They're not obvious. Is it cold outside? Uh, no, it's probably like a, a summer night. Um, okay. 
but the coat you're wearing is is appropriate for a summer night, so it doesn't look weird or anything. You're not wearing a winter coat. Okay. Uh, you're just wearing, you know, windbreaker type thing. Do I meet any people as I walk around? I mean, there's there's some nightlife. Uh, there's some people smoking outside of a bar. Um, there's, you know, a red light district in the distance. Um, there's uh, nightlife type people. You can you can meet them. Yeah, I'll look over the guys smoking outside the bar. Okay, yeah, they look sort of they look a little hardcore, I guess. A little hardcore anyway. They get they're all tatted up. There's big dudes. There's a there's a there's a bouncer outside the bar and you can tell he's the type of bouncer who's really into bouncing. Like he's he's really into his job of of being a bouncer. Hey, I'll look at him and say, uh, hey, any of you boys see an aircraft carrier around here? Aircraft carrier? No, this is, this is near the ocean at all. What, where are you? Do you, you got a problem, man? Uh, oh, um. There's an airport, but I don't think there's an aircraft carrier. That's a little. Uh, oh, um. Can you show me which direction the airport is? I'm not really sure. I don't know where they're on town. Yeah, you just head down 7th Street, you'll hit it not very long. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's right in the heart of downtown, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Does, does he point in a direction, or...? Yeah, he points in a direction. Okay. I'll think I'm starting in that direction, then. You head in that direction. Uh, it, the street is clearly marked 7th Street, and, uh, you do hear the, the sound of, of planes overhead as uh, one comes into landing, and in the distance you see sort of the, uh, the, the taxi and uh, car drop-off place for an airport. 